Don't allow others to shape your reality. Neo, why do my eyes hurt? Morpheus, you have never used them before. The Matrix 1999. I love this exchange in the movie, The Matrix. This is when Neo wakes up from a world, he thought to be real. Instead, he had lived his entire existence in a virtual reality created by artificial intelligence. Neo has never really opened his eyes. Life is an opportunity to learn, and even during our darkest times. We can come out the other side better for it. We all have friends, some of them really close. Others just ancillary acquaintances, but we are influenced by all of them. Friends and family are sometimes false mirrors. We tend to see ourselves through them, and the image is often distorted. I'm very opinionated and stubborn. When I disagree with someone, I do it completely. This is a serious personality flaw. When it comes to maintaining close relationships, and frankly, it isn't very nice. It doesn't mean I have to be dishonest. But it does mean I have to use compassionate tact. How many times in your life have you made serious decisions? Based on the opinion of someone close to you? Have you ever left work feeling lower than low? Because a supervisor or coworker made a less than kind criticism? No one likes to be put down, negative words affect our reality. Perceptions of us by others shape every aspect of our life in positive and negative ways. There are teachers and coaches we admired while growing up. They encouraged and pushed us in directions we otherwise would not have explored. These individuals were positive role models and mentors who strengthened our self-image. Maintaining a positive perception of ourselves as our reality. And we have to use this as our guiding light. We do not have to lose friends to do it. But it may require a re-evaluation of some of the people we surround ourselves with. How do we find out who we truly are? The answer should be self-evident, but most of us really do not know. We have just scratched the surface, and if our self-esteem has been comprised, it is even harder to figure out. I believe, perhaps naively so, that most people are good or at least well-intentioned. In shaping our own reality we have to be a little selfish. There is an honest assessment that needs to be made of our needs. This requires a little bit of work on our part, but it isn't that difficult. I am a big believer in setting goals for my life. It doesn't mean setting a goal for every single day, just in general. Particularly when it comes to career and relationships. If you are single, depending on your age, do you want to get married someday? Do you want children and how many? It is not rocket science, but it is important in shaping your own reality. There is nothing wrong with getting input from friends and family. But remember you are the one ultimately responsible for your happiness. As I have grown older, I am less tolerable of negative people. The older we get, time speeds up. I woke up one day and thought to myself. I do not have time for negative people. It became my silent mantra. I did not openly discuss that with anyone, but during the normal course of life. Those around me with negative attitudes slowly began drifting out of my life. Losing some of them was very sad. But I realized that their negative reality was infecting me. There wasn't an active campaign to get rid of them. But phone calls and texts became fewer. I realized that I really did not have much in common with them to begin with. This doesn't mean you have to sit down and make a naughty or nice list. Just be aware and in the present. There is so much negativity around us, we often do not recognize it. Some radiate negative energy in waves, like a constant body odor. They may not even realize they are doing it at times. When we start paying more attention to our surroundings and those around us, 
it is easier to spot. Everyone has an occasional bad day and can be forgiven for it. I'm talking about folks that issue a continual odor of negativity. A half compliment that is actually a negative remark. A snide comment about the waiter at a restaurant. Putting someone else down to make themselves feel better. It is sometimes subtle, but always nasty and uncalled for. There are endless arguments about nature versus nurture. Were we born this way or are we products of our environment? I fall firmly in the school that we are shaped by both. I do believe, at some point, we become responsible for our own actions. It isn't acceptable as a 30-year-old man or woman to blame their parents for bad behavior. It is time to swap out the Huggies and Enfamil for responsibility. This isn't the Jerry Springer show or The Bachelor. It is our reality and we have to own it. I wish I was able to say there was a magic pill to solve the problem, but there isn't. This requires real diligence on your part. And possibly the loss of a few friends or people we thought were friends. If their negativity is infecting you and your reality. It is time to politely wash your hands of them and move on. The importance of this newfound personal reality is critical in the search for a future partner. Having awareness and being in the present will change the way you conduct your search. All of this hard work in regaining yourself and coming out of the matrix cannot be lost. Being selective doesn't mean you have to be overly critical or picky. No one is perfect and we cannot expect it. I have said this before, but the most crucial thing in life is your happiness. And by becoming self-aware and in the present, you are well on your way to finding it. Escape from the matrix. Like, share, comment. Subscribe to Total Transformation Channel.